I was a lost teenager. I was not raised in a Christian home. Um, at a very young age, I got into drugs, alcohol, smoking, everything you can think of. I was lost um, and I didn't have a purpose. Getting into my teens, uh, I started questioning a lot of things, really started delving into studying a lot of different types of religions and faiths um, because I knew God existed. I knew there was truth out there, but I just wanted to find it. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that's something that I really see in uh, teenagers in general, just trying to search for purpose. I would say it was almost like a double life. I knew the right motions, the right things to say. And in my free time, I was just running around with my friends doing who knows what, especially living in Thailand. Access to alcohol was really easy. So I had free reign. And then that started in high school. Um, and then throughout college, just more of the same. Um, a lot of drinking, partying, that was my whole personality. I got kicked out of school. My father kicked me out of my home and sent me to live with my mom and my stepdad and they were going to um, a Baptist church at the time and they said, well, you're coming with us to church and I said, no thanks. Because to me, I had been to church. It was a completely different type of church, but I had been to church and it was boring and it didn't make sense and I, and I didn't understand anything that was being said. So I fought for a while and then finally they convinced me to go and I walked in on a Wednesday night and actually met him for the first night and I, I just felt a complete difference in the church. You know, just seeing the way I was, mm -hmm. I can really relate to a lot of the teens at church. Um, you know, I see uh, a little bit of me in them and uh, you know, that's something that really motivates me and mm -hmm. reminds me of why it's so important because a lot of the sins that I committed, a lot of the mistakes that I made, a lot of the people I affected could have been avoided if I had been saved and had been in a good church. The reality is, I think the world has tried so hard to try to cater to what they think the next generation wants. And it seems like the more time that we spend with them, they just want someone to tell them like it is. Someone to be there for them. Someone to say, hey, here's what it means to be saved. Um, here's what here's what God can do in your life, but here's the path that He wants you to take to get there. I'm living proof of what the gospel can do. I'm living proof of what the Bible can do. I'm living proof of a church I'm, I can do. I'm living proof of what a pastor and pastor's wife and youth leaders and people stepping in in these teens' lives and giving them hope can do. So a lot of my convi or like my desire to minister to them is don't do <laughs> everything that I did or was doing or would have done. Um, a lot of them um, have made choices, personal choices, um, or under certain convictions and have made decisions that I wish I would have made. So the fact that they're doing it now, I just like, I pray and I wanna encourage them to not lose any of that and just to keep going in it. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to be a boxer, mechanic, this, that. Can never really decide. Never really had any goals or ambitions, I guess. But I came to the conclusion that what else would I rather do with my life than serve the Lord? So I was at a really rough part of my life, going through depression, just not feeling like myself. And I really didn't have anybody. I couldn't go any. I couldn't talk to anybody, and then I felt like alone. And uh, I came and I turned to God and honestly it just saved my life it changed me honestly I didn't think that I would be here today as a person as a Christian I think that I would be lost I don't I, I don't know I couldn't even tell you because God has saved me and I don't know what else to say I got saved uh, December 12 2017 it's been like close to five years and it's that five years or four and a couple months been life-changing he's the one who showed me how to love and showed me the true gifts and true gifts and the true evil of this world and I'm so thankful and glad I, I accepted the gift of God. Seeing the changes that have been made in their lives by getting saved, by accepting Jesus Christ as their Savior, by getting into a good church, it shows me that there's hope for anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter what situation you came from, it doesn't matter what 
uh, happened in your past, uh, no matter what, the light of Jesus Christ can light up their lives and everything can be changed. The reality is uh, we're in a place now where we've seen many come and they're bringing many more and uh, we are looking forward to seeing what God does. And we're not sure. We, uh, we don't know if the Lord is going to give us land, if He's going to give us a building or how this is all going to work out and that's in His hands. But it's an exciting time to be here at New Heights Baptist Church and uh, we'd love for you to become a part of that and come see what it means to have Jesus truly in your life.